for the fourth week in a row. The mother is number one. At number 10, Mariah Carey. There is a reason that these two divas have never collaborated over the years, and it's simply because Carey doesn't know her. During an interview in 2009, Carey was asked about Beyonce, who she talked very highly of. After that, when asked about Lopez, she said, I don't know her, and smiled until the interviewer moved on. Since then, the clip of Carey saying, I don't know her, has taken off and become a pretty quoted line. To make it even more of a joke, Mariah continues to use the same answer when asked about Lopez Lopez ever since. In 2016, TMZ brought Lopez up and Carrie responded with, I still don't know her, which only made the joke stronger. After Andy Cohen pressed Carrie further asking, do you know her? Lopez had since admitted that they had met, but even then Carrie exclaimed, no. If I've never had a conversation with you and someone asked me, I would say they seem cool or I don't know them. Insinuating the most conversation she had with Lopez was a quick hello. Cohen then asked if she seemed cool, to which Carrie replied, I don't know her. Lopez also commented on it on the Wendy Williams show, telling the host, she's forgetful I guess, we've met many times, I don't know her that well. At number 9, Gwyneth Paltrow. In a 1998 interview Lopez did with Movie Line, she really headed out for a number of her fellow women in Hollywood. Lopez, who was fresh off the success of Selena and Anaconda at the time, was explaining how she feels edged up to what she referred to as the bottom of the A-list actresses. The singer then went on to share her thoughts on a number of big actresses none of which were particularly positive. When it came to being asked about Paltrow, Lopez said, tell me what she's been in. I swear to God, I don't remember anything she was in. Some people get hot by association. I've heard more about her and Brad Pitt than I ever did about her work. Paltrow also dated Lopez's husband, Ben Affleck, and at the time of Benifer's first wedding being put on hold in 2003, Paltrow gave her opinion. In 2003, she said she wasn't surprised to see her ex put the wedding on hold, saying Ben makes life tough for himself. He's got a a lot of complications and, you know, he really is a great guy, so I hope he sorts himself out. Paltrow also claimed to never expect to end up with him, saying, I just think we have very different sort of value systems. At number 8, Gloria Estefan. The singer threw some shade to Lopez for her halftime documentary rant about having to perform alongside Shakira in the 2020 Super Bowl. Estefan admitted she has no regrets in choosing not to participate following her blasting Lopez's comments about the experience while sitting down with Andy Cohen. Estefan said, imagine what Jayla would have said if I was the third. I literally would have come out, done shake your body, and left. It was their moment. Plus, I didn't want to go on a diet in December. Benny Medina said in the documentary that it was insulting of the Super Bowl to request two Latina artists when one has already historically done the work. Yet, Lopez was the one who was upset about splitting her time on stage, stating that they only had five minutes to sing all of their desired songs accurately. Quote, we have to have our singing moments. This is the worst idea in the world to have two people do the Super Bowl. At number seven, Brandy. The singer was apparently picking sides when the feud between Lopez and Mariah Carey was at its peak, and it's clear she was not with J-Lo. In 2017, Brandy shared an Instagram photo of her embracing Mariah with a shady three-word caption that read hashtag, she knows me. As I mentioned before, Carey doesn't know Lopez, and almost immediately after it was uploaded, people caught on to the clever caption. Brandy's followers were on her, speculating that the caption had everything to do with Mariah's famously meme, I don't know her. In response to the speculation, Brandy denied there being any drama, changing the caption of the photo to then say, I swear I don't know what the fuss is about. I love this pic and now everyone thinks I'm throwing shade? At who? This is funny. Can't take this one down, I love this picture, and whenever I'm throwing shade, it's not questionable. You know that I am. That being said, her fans were pretty certain that the photo and caption combination couldn't have been taken any other way. At number six, Rihanna. Almost immediately after Lopez posted a photo of herself chilling with rapper Drake backstage at her Vegas show in December 2016, rumors began going around that the pair were dating. The caption she used for the pic may have been tame, writing, look who rolled up to my show tonight to say hi. But the hashtag she chose to add, love him, was not, and neither was the follow-up post. The singer sure didn't help squash the rumors when she uploaded an image of the rapper giving her a big hug and looking rather cozy, snuggling up to her. Some people were unbothered by the rumors, brushing them off as fake, but Drake's on-again, off-again love interest, Rihanna, seemed to take the post personally and was less than impressed. According to an insider who spoke with In Touch, Rihanna felt like she had suffered the ultimate betrayal, dubbing Lopez as desperate and a traitor. The two women were once pretty tight, and Rihanna is said to have confided in Lopez about her tumultuous relationship with Drake. Although Rihanna has never publicly addressed the issue, she did appear to throw some major shade in the most subtle in the most subtle of ways when, in December 2016, she suddenly unfollowed Lopez 
guys on Instagram. At number five, Cameron Diaz. In the same 1998 interview where Lopez talked poorly about Gwyneth Paltrow, she also made sure to trash a number of other actresses like Salma Hayek, Claire Danes, Winona Ryder, Madonna, and Cameron Diaz. In reference to Diaz, who has appeared in movies like The Mask and Charlie's Angels, Lopez boldly claimed that she's a lucky model who's been given a lot of opportunities I just wish she would have done more with. She's beautiful and has great presence, though, and in my best friend's wedding, I thought when directed, she can be good. Pretty interesting claim to make considering how far her acting career has come since then versus Diaz. Lopez was apparently full of herself that day because in that same movie line interview, Lopez also said, I have this attitude and it won't change no matter how big I get that you have to fight for things you want. Explaining how she won the role opposite George Clooney in Out of Sight, she said, you can't expect things to be handed to you on a platter, even if you can fill theaters week in and week out, because there's always somebody like me ready to kick down the door and steal the job right out from under you. At number four, Sean Combs. Also known by a number of his stage names like P. Diddy and Puffy, the American rapper, like Lopez, is best known for his music, but he's also dabbled in acting. The pair were romantically linked from 1999 to 2001 and had an altercation when it came to making an American Idol appearance in 2014. Combs actually turned down a judging spot on the 13th season simply because Lopez signed on for another season of the show. Despite the pair ending their relationship over a decade prior, it appears Combs is still not so keen on working with her. Lopez ended up being a judge on the show for a total of five seasons. When it came to being asked why he turned down the opportunity, he gave the reasoning of not wanting to work alongside Lopez and that he used to be attached to her manager at the time, Benny Medina. Combs was quoted to have said, it's her or me when it came to the question on whether or not he'd be appearing on American Idol. I can imagine working with your ex would be hard, but to turn down an opportunity like that over a three year long relationship that ended 10 years prior, something bad must have seriously gone down between them. At number three, Howard Stern. The popular host and interviewer has a number of reasons for not liking JLo. For one, he hates her music. Howard's typical musical vibe is more 90s rock and grunge rather than early 2000s pop. But not only does Howard not enjoy Jennifer's music, he has bashed it on numerous occasions despite his attraction to fairly few pop songs in the past. In the end, it was Stern's co-host Robin who made claims while they watched her on the floor music video that radio stations were hesitant to play the song since she hasn't been charting for a while. Apparently, to further this point, he described that the relevance of JLo being a judge on American Idol kind of forced the song down consumers' throats, and Howard later accused Lopez of being self-absorbed because the single debuted on American Idol. Howard further bashed her Super Bowl performance and even ridiculed Jimmy Fallon's praises of it as well. There's also the incident where Stern claims he spent the entirety of his run-in with friend Mark Anthony, who was married to Lopez at the time, being completely ignored. This further pushed the existing reputation of JLo being a diva. At number two, Nicki Minaj. The rapper shared her first squabble with Lopez during an episode of American Idol in 2012, where Minaj was a special guest and Lopez was a judge. Following Minaj's performance, she asked, I was hoping maybe I could come back and be a guest judge. JLo, could you scoot over a little bit? This led Lopez to respond with, I don't know if there's enough room for both of us. Following their exchange, Minaj was fired up backstage where she told the Hollywood Reporter, she didn't seem to be having it, but she's gonna have it, before saving face and saying, we were just joking around. Jump forward to 2015, and things between the two seem to still be pretty rocky. Lopez opened up the AMAs that year with a medley of songs, including an excerpt from Minaj's song, Anaconda. The cameras captured the rapper's reaction to this, which appeared to be totally unimpressed. Her face said it all, but after a fan tweeted the clip with the caption, dang JLo, Nicki Minaj's facial expression says it all. The rapper became defensive. Minaj tried to explain that she was looking at her own face on the screen, but people weren't buying it at all. And at number one, Rosie Perez. The actress has known Lopez for decades after meeting in 1991 at an open casting call for In Living Colors, Fly Girl Dancers, where Perez was the choreographer and Lopez was still a rising star. With their history, you would think that the women would get along great, but despite having a lot in common, according to Perez's 2014 memoir, Handbook for an Unpredictable Life, there's no love between them. In the book, Perez recalled their time working together on the show and took the opportunity to paint Lopez in a seriously negative light. Perez wrote, all of the girls were coming into my office complaining about how she was manipulating wardrobe, makeup, and me, all to her advantage. She then went on to accuse Lopez of acting like, quote, some ghetto b.
screaming and pounding her chest. Although Lopez left In Living Color after just two seasons, Perez accused the star of keeping their feud alive long after they parted ways. In her memoir, Perez portrayed the singer as being two-faced, saying she made disparaging comments about her in Hollywood, then acted friendly to her face. Perez recalled, she came over to me smiling, saying hello as if nothing had happened. That was the top 10 celebrities that tried to warn us about Jennifer Lopez. Did I miss any celeb warnings about JLo? Let me know which ones in the comments below. I've been your host, Maddie, and I'll catch you next time for another Top 10 Countdown.